good to see a ton of players returning from the January camp. We're still talking about uh, players who are out with injury and who are still missing, uh, you know, from these rosters who are still rehabbing from injury. We are already starting to see the integration of some players back in. We already started to see Crystal Dunn towards the end of 2022, making her way back from maternity leave. People started having a little bit of elevated question marks around Tierna Davidson and Lynn Williams and Kat Macario and their status. And we've already seen Lynn Williams back into camp. She's already scored a goal and picked up an assist yeah. and a yellow card. She's well on Lynn's her way. Lynn's not even working her way back. Lynn Williams is like back 100%. She's like <laughs> well on her way. Uh, and Tierna Davidson included on this as a training camp player. And Vlad Wondonowski, of course, asked uh, in media about – uh, a player like Katarina Macario as well. Uh, she's been providing updates on her own socials as, as well, um, has been on the field taking touches and things like that. Uh, interesting of no to note, uh, Andonovsky saying that Makara is actually still, uh, you know, in Qatar in the FIFA center for rehab. Mm -hmm. uh, she has plans to go back to Lyon um, to get back into uh, team trainings uh, mid-February and actually getting playing time for Lyon towards uh towards the second uh, half of March. So uh, previously in the January camps, he was mentioning around five to six weeks, right? Yeah. You know, before actual kind of contact. And then we're, if, if March with if playing time with, with Leon in March is sort of the target and that's kind of right, right on spot um, where he was mentioning about in terms of the timeline, but you know, he also got mentioned his down. Well, he also, well, he, he gave the biggest, the biggest update on, on, I think Davidson and Macario um, and Davidson herself has already sort of been in a return to play uh, protocols in terms of what she's been doing to get back to the pitch. I mean, she had spent time in Germany with Wolfsburg mm -hmm. in, in training environments to try to acclimate herself as well. So um, mainly the, the heaviest updates, I think on those two players, but he also mentioned players like Kelly O'Hara, Kristen Press. Tobin Heath um, within this uh, press conference as well as players that are that they have to keep an eye on who are, you know, experienced players making um, their return eventually and what that could look like in the future for this team. Yeah, I like that he kind of touched on a lot of them and, and got into it. And you're exactly right. These timelines are nothing too out of the ordinary from what he's been telling the media and the public for the last several weeks. And and we knew that Kristen Press and Katerina Macario were on similar timelines, a couple weeks behind Tierna Davidson, but right around the exact same time, we just have more information on Katerina Macario because she is very public about it. Um, but him sharing that she's going to start playing for Lyon very soon and training with them is incredibly positive. I mean, that's fantastic to see. And I think it gives a, a little bit of an advantage um, over someone like a Kristen Press just because Katerina Macario was in season. So she can go to a team and she can get full training in and she can even get games in um, all leading up to that April FIFA window that is to come. Now, in the NWSL where Kristen Press is signed with Angel City in LA, there is preseason started. So she's also kind of getting on that track where she can be training and conditioning with the team. But I, I think Kat has just a little bit of an upper hand because she's got – um, actual games that she can play in with Leon uh, coming up over these next couple weeks. But Vlad Kwanovsky, uh, as you said, also talking about Kelly O'Hara saying expecting her back from her injury um, in April to come as well. There's a, a lot of different moving parts with all of these injured players and, and seeing how they can get back into it. And of course, being mindful that that you don't want to rush them, right? That's one thing he said about Sophia Smith is he was like, yeah, she could have played and she believes cup and she would have been good for three games, but we want to make sure she's good for the next year, the next two years. So we're going to really focus on that recovery, then bring her in when she is 100%, not when she's 70% and playing a couple games could knock her down to 40%. So I, I think that his transparency on a lot of these players and their rehab and where they are in their progression and, and their plan back to the pitch and getting touches on the ball is fantastic. And we'll start to see what he has already done with someone like a Crystal Dunn coming back from maternity leave, joining a camp, but not playing in a game. Uh, now we're seeing it with Tierna Davidson joining this camp. She's going to get training in. She's going to get touches and contact minutes. And that is 
it's very, very exciting uh, for me as someone who has truly missed Tierna Davidson and watching her play so much. Um, it's exciting. And like, think of how exciting Tierna Davidson is at this point to be in training camp, right? Like huge. No, we're not going to see her get game minutes, but she'll be there training and competing. And that's, hey, that's the first step in order to get back. Um, I cannot wait. Cannot wait for the She Believes Cup, Sandra. I am Look. stoked. Stoked. Canada, Brazil, we're, Japan. And we've got our roster. Like, let's go. We're we're doing the we're, we're talking roster drop on February 1. The games are coming up and kicking off beginning February 16th. It's here. We're locked into She Believes Cup for sure now moving forward. Uh, stay tuned, honestly, for, for everything else. Because, look, we're reacting to the roster, but we, we're going to have to talk about previewing these matches. We're going to have to talk about what we're going to see from the opposition. All that stuff is in the pipeline, of course, as the month continues to roll on.